So we're talking today about pleural fluid, fluid that resides around the lung, in between this space that we're calling the double plastic bag. But what we're talking about is the evolution from symptoms associated with pleural fluid, to diagnosis of the pleural fluid, to now how do we manage it long term. Because my goal for you is that you recognize that you have options for independence and independent living, despite the fact that the fluid may be building up. So what I'm going to talk to you right now is called tunnel pleural catheters. Now, tunnel pleural catheters is a generic name. It is not like what you typically think about when drains are placed in the chest. And I want to sort of dispel that myth right up front. Because oftentimes when people are told, well, we're going to put a drain in, people think about people that they've known who've had operations and have drains hanging out and continuous drainage. What I'm talking about is something that is designed that only you and your loved ones will have to know about, things that can allow you to go back to work, to enjoy sports and travel, things that really give you independence. So what are these tunnel pleural catheters? They fall under many brand names, and depending on who your practitioner is, you may find that they use something called Plurex, or they make something called Aspira, or they may use something called Rockets. They're just different names, all for the same thing, but these are all devices that allow you to go home and manage your pleural fluid on your own. So these are catheters that are placed typically in your side. We already know when we put them in a couple of really important things. Number one, that you have pleural fluid. Number two, that that pleural fluid comes back and that unfortunately that we can only temporarily relieve the symptoms because until we have better treatments, at this time it is something that's going to cause you symptoms and that when we drain it, you get relief of that symptoms. So that's the triad that's really important, that you have fluid, that the fluid recurs, and that if that fluid is drained, you get relief of your symptoms. If that triad is present, we need to come up with a system for you to live independently at home. And a common system that we use right now is placed in the side, and it's the tunnel pleural catheter. Typically, these are placed in a sterile environment to minimize the risk of infection. We place them by ultrasound guidance, again, a safe way to identify the structures. We typically place them with you under a little bit of sedation, something to just take the edge off so you're not aware of the surroundings. We instill a lot of local medications. Typically, we'll put your arm behind your head, an ultrasound in this plane right here on your side. The reason that we go into the side is because we don't want you to have something in your back it's not allow you to lay on your bed or sit in a chair or drive a car and have pressure. We typically find that people have much more freedom when their side has a catheter and not their back. The catheter is tunneled, just like the name says. That means that it goes under the skin and then into the pleural space here on the side. There are specific advantages of that. That allows you to be at home with it. That minimizes the risk of infection and it minimizes the catheters being dislodged. And it allows